Hey everybody, it's That Dude in the Shades here from 91.8 The Fan, and I am here with Mark Hildreth. Many of you know him as the voice of Hero Yui on Gundam Wing, and he's also known for the popular Showtime show, The Tudors. And I'm Mark, nice to have you on board. Nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, first off, we want to know, how did you get your start in voice acting? Because that's definitely one thing you're known for. Yeah, the, the first uh, the first uh, voiceover job I ever did, I was about, uh, I was about 10 years old. I was uh, a cast by uh, this uh, this wonderful uh, director in, in uh, uh, Los Angeles uh, named Marcia Goodman, and she cast me. They did a remake of the old uh, cartoon Beanie and Cecil, and I played uh, little Beanie, and uh, and uh, they had some great actors on there, and uh, and I just I really liked it. I really had a good time, and it was a lot of fun. And and my my mom and dad were like, "Do you want to do this?" And then there, I was like, "Yeah." And they're like, "It's kind of weird, isn't it?" And I was like, "Yeah, but I like it." You know, I just sort of felt at home, I guess, in the, in that world. Yeah, whatever happens, you're fine. Yeah. Now I gotta ask, what was the oddest moment? What is the one moment you remember as a as a voice actor or an acting in general that was just like you just you just like what the hell happened there? Like the oddest moment you've ever had. What was the strangest moment yeah. ever? You know, I uh, I had I had a bunch of moments like that when I was uh, when I was shooting the tutors uh, in Ireland. Uh, you know, sometimes I would just be I would be sitting there. Uh, you know, we'd be I'd be doing a scene with uh, you know with somebody like uh, Max von Sydow, uh, who is uh, just an amazing actor and has done a, uh, you know so you know has been in like 150 movies. And I'd have these moments where I would just go like, Wow, like am I really here? Is this really, you know, happening? Am I really sitting beside somebody who's done 11 films with Ingmar Bergman? You know, am I am I really working on this show that is, you know, it's an Emmy-winning show and and uh, and it's just so well produced and so well directed and so well written and so well acted? Um, you know, once in a while I'd sort of pinch myself and be like, wow. This is amazing, and uh, and you know Ireland. Uh, just a little plug for Ireland. Ireland really is a beautiful, beautiful country, um, and I, as the little of it that I did get to see, um, you know, we spent a lot of our time around Dublin, and Dublin is just amazing. It's a beautiful place, and the people there are just uh, um, really very, um, very wonderful. Uh, their essence is is very beautiful, and I just had a, I had a great time working on that show. Awesome, awesome. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the Tudors is not your only uh, non-anime project that you've worked on before. What's the other stuff you've done in the past? Yeah, you know, I've done a, I've done a lot of uh, live action. I've done a lot of on camera work. Um, I've done a number of television shows uh, and uh, and films. I'm in Pirates of the Caribbean three. Um, I've done a, a number of a, a lot of stuff uh, up in Canada, which is where I'm from. I'm from Vancouver, uh, Vancouver, BC, Canada. Um, and um, I'm also a musician. And uh, I made uh, I made a record last year called Complex State of Attachment, um, which is a pop R and B record. It sort of like sounds kind of like somewhere between Elton John. And Stevie Wonder, sort of in that in that sort of vein, and uh, it's one of my favorite uh, my favorite things to do in the world is uh, is make music and play for people, and that's what I'm getting to do here at uh, at MetroCon in Florida. I'm uh, I'm playing uh, to a big concert here, and there's uh, I'm told there'll be like five to six thousand people coming through the convention this year, which is uh, which is very exciting. That you know people are not only interested in what I'm doing as an actor, but they're interested in buying my record and and uh, checking out what I'm doing uh, through my website. Um, there's a lot of people who are starting to build a community there at uh, mark com. Awesome, definitely. I definitely look forward to seeing how you perform. Uh, other than, you know, being a musician and stuff like that, you've been to a lot of conventions, I'm sure. What was the one convention moment, like the one moment at any particular convention that sticks out in your mind, like something that really hit home? You know, I haven't uh, I haven't done a lot of conventions. I actually really just really started uh, doing some of them this year, mm. and I and I didn't do them until I, I really uh, you know I got a sense that that uh, that the fans uh, you know would really like my music, and I sort of you know I was sort of I showed up at my first one. And I was I don't know who knows what they're gonna think, but uh, it's very accessible music. You know, it's very hummable and very sort of uh, you know it's kind of tunes that get stuck in your head. You know, catchy, yeah, catchy. that kind of thing. So yeah, exactly. So I uh, I've been having that's those are the always the best moments for me is like being up on stage you know and finishing a song and there's always this moment of silence just as the song finishes and everyone's almost like holding their breath and then I'm like thank you very much and then they just erupt and it's, <laughs> it's beautiful it's great you know I feel like there's a real rapport and I love it's one of my favorite things to do in the world is just to play for people and so to get to do that is a great privilege for me that's awesome um, one a uh, couple more questions is um, is there any particular like a line or a phrase that you've done on any particular show, anime or otherwise that you remember is like, or that a lot of like fans like remind you of on a constant basis? You know, most people love to hear me say "mission accomplished." <laughs> <laughs> right? 
<laughs> see? Yep. Yeah, I can see that. They, they, so they love that. it. You know, they go crazy about it. Um, I guess, uh, you know, Gundam Wing is, is something that I, I feel fortunate to be a part of, really, because it's, uh, you know, it's something that's been around for a very long time in Japan and, and has now been around for quite a while in, uh, in the U.S. and, and Canada. And um, its uh, its popularity is surprises us all. Um, you know, there's there's a bunch of us who are on Gundam Wing here at uh, at MetroCon this year, and uh, we, it always surprises us how, just how much people love it. And um, you know, it's uh, it, like I say, you know, I, I feel it's a privilege to get to to get to come and, and play and sing for people um, because they uh, you know they they really like what we did. They really enjoy our work, and you know that 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 personally, I can say that means a lot. That means a lot to me to get to you know interact and and, and come and hang out with the fans and sign autographs. And, and sign the record and, and have the record available for people because uh, you know it's it's rare that you get to work on a project like that that has that kind of a following mm -hmm. and uh, it always sort of takes us by surprise we're like you know we walk into a panel and there's like a huge lineup and we're like wow this is amazing <laughs> man it's great yeah I, I'm definitely one of those that will say that it, while it wasn't the first anime I ever saw it was definitely one, the one that sealed the deal for me this, everything about it was awesome and, your right. voice, and the work that you did on that definitely was one of the factors that made me think that way uh, well we're almost out of time but I do want to ask you one last thing are there any future projects that we can look forward to from you uh, well, the the tutors, uh, the third season of the tutors, uh, just premiered uh, on Showtime in the states, and uh, that's going to be running up in Canada in the fall. Um, and um, yeah, I'm touring. Uh, I'm touring this record. Uh, um, I'm touring Complex State of Attachment for probably the better part of this year. Um, I'll probably be appearing at a few other conventions. I've got a music video coming out for one of my songs. I'm working on a new single called Change of Mind. That I'm. It looks like I'm very close to getting uh, this amazing a cappella group in in the states called Natural. Really seven to uh, to come and sing on, and um, so that'll be coming out in the next few months. And um, yeah, my my website mark sheldrithcom It's uh, basically an, an online community that I'm trying to build for the fans, uh, so that we have a place to sort of interact. You know, we can I post videos, I post blogs, and I'll you know I go on and I comment and I try to be really active on there. I have a newsletter, things like that, and then you know the fans go on and they post photographs and they post videos, and everyone responds to each other's videos, and it's great. It's everybody gets to sort of get to know each other and you know what I'm trying to do is like with this popularity I'm really trying to build a sort of a, uh, a humanitarian way to connect with each other because I find that so much on the internet is so um, degrading and so violent um, you know people seem to go on the internet and they and they seem to just treat each other like objects so what I'm trying to do you know is uh, is create an, a, a place where we can come together and just talk honestly about like you know whatever whatever we got on our minds and that's what I try to do on the site so uh, if you um, you know if you if you ha I would say to the fans if you have uh, any interest if you want to share anything with me or you want to share anything with anyone else stop by mark com, register uh, you know re register you know post some stuff on the forum and maybe join the street team and um, and we can sort of interact with each other and uh, and move forward. That'll be awesome. We'll make sure to have links for you guys to check out mark com, right only on 91.8 The Fan. Well, Mark, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And you rest of you guys, stay tuned for more interviews and exclusive coverage right here at Metrocon. Rock on, Otakus! <laughs>